What's up, guys? Merry Christmas. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's December 22nd, 2023. Great day planned for you today. I usually make my videos early in the day, but I've been kind of lazy today. Today is nine years since my mom passed away, so that kind of blows a little bit. But you know me, I always make the best of it. And uh, always kind of just keep it moving, guys. Best advice I can give you on anything. This video is going to be a fun one. This one is going to be unique. You are in for a treat, guys. Now, I challenge you guys, and I mean challenge you because you're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to complete this challenge. I challenge you to stay till the end of this video. It's going to be torture. It's just going to be... You are going to witness some of the best manipulation I've seen in my lifetime. This is all around in every facet. This has everything. Female manipulation, feel sorry for me, feel good about me, turn you on. She's, oh man, an absolute case for the uh, doctors if they themselves were not so uh, well, you know. Anyways, this is a good one, guys. I'm gone with John. If you're new here, hit like, hit comment, and subscribe. We're going to watch this. Again, no disrespect to this girl whatsoever. CGA did this video earlier today for a brief little bit on his show, and I knew as soon as I heard this lady talk, I had to make a video about her because, well, and again, no disrespect to this lady because, well, everything I'm about to say is, of course, allegedly based on the fact that I've known a hundred girls just like this one. Let's dive in, boys. Shout out to Caleb Hammer, Fair Use, and all that good stuff. <clears throat> this is, uh, well. Hello, I'm Amber. Right. I'm from Los Angeles, California. What a shithole. I'm 27 years old. Mm -hmm. The wall is approaching, but the tatas are out, so I see you're working on it. And almost a half. And <laughs> sorry. What was funny? My inner child speaking. Boy, poor Caleb Hammer. You got to give it to this guy sitting through this. This is the edit that he put together. So I'm assuming he had to sit for a very long time to get the information he did. Right now, I'm going to start that over. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just so for the record, it's 27 and a half. Okay. And this is financial audit. Okay, okay. cool. Wow. So. Shout out to Caleb Hammer. He does a financial show where he kind of looks at people's finances. If you can imagine this girl's is, well, her finances are not quite up to par, but what I want you to see is her naivete, her, it's not even naivete. It's like just complete stupidity uh, in dealing with her monies, bills, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then <clears throat> the manipulation to how she explains none of this, of course, is her fault. It's all there, boys. So what do you do for a living? We're going to go with that. So she's a stripper, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I think it shows your energy <laughs> or something. It does, so it does, it does, it does. You're bombastic. What do you do for a yeah. living? I am a web show host and producer. Yeah. My show is called Healing Amber. Okay. Healing Amber. Don't Google that, guys, please. So we're getting that off of the ground and running. Oh, so nothing then. But right now to make, you know, ends meet-ish. Yeah. You've seen my financial statements oh. <laughs> we, why is that funny man this is the laugh before the cry we are making commercials so all the ones you see on social media where uh -huh. there's a random woman telling you to buy this product are you that random woman yeah hmm well, right something tells me random woman describes most modern women today the products have you sold i don't recognize you Oh. oh my God. Okay. So there's this one built ad that goes around a lot where I'm telling people, um, Hey, you can get paid early and you can use this money to pay off your rent and you'll make reward. Some of y'all don't see it, but this lady allegedly likes the booger sugar. She's a little bit of uh, speedy or cokey. I can't tell which one yet, but it's methamphetamine or, or, you know, booger sugar. Probably, blow, you know, maybe both. Who knows? Allegedly. Towards points. Ugh, and then other why ones were... Why would you want to support that? That's shit, though. That's like payday I know, loans. and they only paid me, like, 200 bucks. To sell out your fellow man into a, uh, you know, payday loan, high interest, destroying of the wealth of those people? Or, well, not wealth, but you know. So you accepted 200 bucks to show something that shit, To act. That, like, hurts people? Ooh, do you see her? To act. Just, no, I wasn't hurting people. I was just a paid actress. An actress? Come on. 
Mm. Oh, you're acting it. So you're not pushing it. No, she's the Hamlet of uh, robbing people blind. You just acted for them. Yeah, that's one thing that's actually been steering me away from the UGC life, the user-generated content life. And it's been feeling... Like a fucking whore that sells people down the river for your own financial profit of $200, by the way. Basically, like you're saying, too hyper-capitalistic. Like, I'm selling... (sighs) Free market's the best society to be in, guys. Selling... Uh, I don't think really it will make people's lives better. It might. Nope. Never has, never did. Usually people that need cash now need it for some chemical dependency. And typically they don't have cash later also. Just throwing that out there. I don't know. I haven't really tried it yet. I was acting. Right. But. Well, I mean, the nice thing about capitalism is you get to choose what and what not to put your yes. work behind so i wouldn't say ultra capitalistic with that like right i mean it's your say to say where you want to put things now you make like might, might make less money for that now mm-hmm. i make a lot less money because i accept like one percent of the sponsorships that reach out to me that's a good point man i get a lot of emails from people i got an email from quello quo you know the wedding ring company that sells the like foamy plasticky uh whatever rubberish wedding ring thing quello i think it's called No offense to them. Sure, they're a great company, but it was reaching out to me because they like my content and thought that my viewers might enjoy plastic wedding rings. (laughs) Shit. It's amazing some of the people that send me stuff. We love what you do, and we'd love to help you reach your audience and give a a code. Can you guys imagine if I did a a video and I'm like, here's a code for your wedding ring from (laughs) Coelho? Shit. And they probably have those pieces of shit, those payday crap. They probably have. And I've said no. You could have said no too. Two hundred bucks. I don't think it would make it break or anything. Well, hmm. maybe it would have for you because you're. You gotta love Caleb and other dudes that are just dudes that are like, hey, well, let's. He, he's pointing out the. He doesn't take the shit. Like he doesn't put up with. Oh, well, I don't know why my account's empty. He's like, yeah, you've been pissing money away. Like he's not quite on the level of Gone with John with it, but he calls him out on it. Or not like making ends meet. No, I have negative money in one bank account. So how? How? So this has kind of oh, been what I've been balancing. Okay. Yeah. Did you see that one? <clears throat> I'm balancing trying to participate in a capitalistic society that I really resent. Really? Looking the way you look, is it hard for you to come up with money? I mean, you you are a beautiful woman. Your life is on God mode. It has to be. Because I want to be able to change this country from the inside out. You want to change this country? You. You can't balance your checkbook and you want to help the rest of us do great and wonderful things with the country. Holy shit, dude. We're doomed. But... I mean, you can vote like everyone else, but... No, no, no. But you still... That doesn't make a difference. (laughs) Okay, well, what I was going to say, I mean... Yeah, she just talked directly over him. You know, I was going to say you can vote like everyone else. So, you know, put the people in that you want. That's totally fine. Agree, disagree. It doesn't matter. I don't get into politics. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. But, but regardless, Mm -hmm. in order to survive, you do have to exist in the reality of reality. Yes. Uh, So what's been really interesting has been coming to terms with. Here comes the bullshit. Get ready. What you just said, reality. And I'm trying to get my inner reality. To- Ooh, the inner reality, guys. I'm telling you, this lady lays it on really thick. You got to see this. It's it's impressive. She is a Jedi Knight of this shit. To finally reflect on the outside. So there was a whole history. <laughs> Look at Caleb's face. He's like, motherfucker, let's talk about these numbers. Of some seriously traumatic shit. That- oh, the victim. She's had traumatic stuff in her, la- her past, guys. Did you know how to... Here we go. Well, before we discuss my finances, let me tell you about all the trauma in my life. I went down in Los Angeles and beforehand. Oh, trauma in LA, you don't say. No kidding, the place with shit, piss, and needles on the street? What could have gone wrong? And and I really froze up and stopped participating. Right, that's not uncommon female behavior whenever something gets scary or dangerous or... They're a little iffy or it's just Tuesday. They can just stop participating altogether. I'm sure some of you men have experienced this. In life, you could say. And I. Right. I let others support me. No shit. I wonder who supported you. Did they have a penis? And I 
put in a little bit of energy here and there to support myself. Right. But luckily, now that I've done all this inner work. Inner work, guys. This is an incredible. This is gold. Like of all of the let's talk about ladies being crazies and warn you men what you're up against and all that. And no offense to ladies and stuff, but this here is an episode of complete delusional possible drug addict uh she's got she checks all the boxes and she's hot she's hot like you'd bang her yeah and i have been realigning my life that fucking realigning ugc work the commercial work it didn't feel aligned so i'm doing this easy job like let's say what's the easy job like let's say i put in 30 minutes for an ag1 greens commercial where they're like why is your skin so glowy and i'm like ag1 you know, that kind of thing. Crack. And so cool. I just made, let's say 300 off of that. But why do I not feel fulfilled? And why- Man, Caleb is about to lose his shit. Why am I not taking my time to actually participate more? Sure. Yeah. So what I have found feels best right now is helping small businesses. So I'm. You, you're helping businesses. I'm taking the skills that I used in creating social media ads, you could say, and I'm turning it into my consulting and production company. Which I'm all about as long as you're making a living. We're yes. not making a living. Have so, you, what are you bringing in from this? I, I want to get an idea of your income. What are you bringing in? Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the money. This has all been really fun and everything for 11 minutes, but let's, what are, let's, let's start talking about the money. Yeah. Okay. So luckily when I do a commercial gig, I can get, let's say now, Three hundred to a thousand dollars, maybe for one ad. Yeah, but how many do we do a week on average? Right. So at this point in my life, I finally made it zero, zero to one. Just say zero to one. Up to I'm doing like, let's say three to five a month. Yeah. So zero to one a week. A month. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Cool. So it's not even a job. It's not even worth talking about. Oh, let's do that. Sounds more like a side gig. Yeah. So exactly this one. I just want to do the social media ads. Right. You're lazy. You don't want to do any hard work or effort. Until the debts are paid off. That credit card but, debt, but, 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 all that shit. Okay. Yeah. But you're negative in a checking account. Where- yeah, and you're doing three gigs a month at 200 or $300 a piece. That's $900. It's not going to... What are you talking about? You haven't even gotten your things. Yes, I agree. I agree. Do this until you pay, for, if you pay off your debt. If it's making enough money to survive, yeah, sure. If it's in order to pay off your debt, it's something you don't want to do, that's great. But if we can't make ends meet, then I'm sorry. We might be working to make arches instead of this. Like, you know. Arches? McDonald's. Golden arches. Uh, right. Let, let's, let's watch her. What? No, that's fine. Not for me. Oh, well, gosh. I know, but something <laughs> oh, surviving boy. is for everyone, though. Right. You might have to do I something know. you don't want to do. And that's right. what's been pissing me off. Like, I f- wear my expensive clothes and I buy my dog the expensive food and I do all this that will like make me feel better when really actually gaining some sovereignty and some independence sure. wow. will make me feel better in the heart. Right. Yeah. And so now I'm also turning, I guess I'm playing, uh, as you say, kind of two sides of the coin. I'm doing the work that doesn't feel that good in order to survive barely yeah. because there's so much resistance there. Wow. But now I am actually just in the middle of my first, first pitch deck to a client in order to consult them in social media authenticity. It sounds like Damn. bullshit. You're building a business. Dude, I'm all about building a business. Yeah. yeah. All this just sounds like bullshit. She's just word salad. Let's watch though. She's going to get really good here. When I built this business, which is in a similar space, it's just online, social media, video, blah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. I didn't do it until I had a 12 month emergency fund and I didn't quit what I needed to survive until this mm. made enough to survive. You're kind of just going all in on it. Now, yeah. Land of America, you know, put in all the risk. Right. And she is pretty. So her social media could potentially be successful. I find it hard to believe she doesn't have an OnlyFans, but we'll just keep moving. Doesn't mean there's not consequences. And sometimes mm. con- consequences might be your missing payments, your negative money and checking account. So that's where I'm just going to the reality type thing. It's like, yeah, me too. How do you think I felt when I was looking through this? So yeah. very empathetic. <laughs> I want you to do what you want to do. I want you to, I want you to find purpose in life. I think that's what we all want to get to through work. Through work. Yeah. There's also, again, the reality of math. So, I mean, let's have the conversation <laughs> about 
work at some point as after we get through the numbers. Okay. Um, and again, I want you to do it. I want you to do what you want to do. Don't simp for her. Don't simp for Caleb. I can tell. But let's just see. Let's just see. Okay. Wait, no, absolutely not. Because I did. <laughs> I did not get a number on. I didn't get a number. I didn't get a number on your income. So what? Did I? <laughs> Yeah, she thinks this shit's hilarious, wasting a man's time. And he's like, we're 15 minutes in, bitch, and I still don't. So how much are you making a month? <laughs> what do you bring in on a monthly basis on average? Oh, my God. What's really sad is that. What do you <laughs> bring so home stressed. on a monthly basis on average? I don't know, because I avoid looking at these bank accounts. Well, you that's know, not when a you choice. So stressed, you're like, I'm just not going to open Bank of America today. I'm sorry. That's not a choice. That's a that's an immature childish thing to do. It is. You say it's not you know when you do life. this. Oh, I know when children do that. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, boys. <clears throat> Here come the tears. I feel. I literally feel overrun once in a while by oh. in spirituality. Oh, spirituality. Here we go. We call them the inner children. The inner namaste aspects. And I literally have been giving them. Boy, he is not listening to this shit at all. He is not phased a bit by her beauty. He's about to light her ass up on the money, I bet. Everything that they want. Hmm. They're like, oh my. <laughs> we got him looking at the camera. Oh my God. Huh? I'm scared to make money because the fear of success. You don't have to fear success. You're going to get spit out the bottom of the porn industry in LA just like every other LA girl. This is, you're going to be popular for 15 minutes and then sucking toes on it. Mm -mm. Means. So many things. Your fear of success is more than your fear of getting kicked out because you can't pay rent. So when I'm setting aside money to save for a new purchase, like a car or a home. All right. I think this is an ad. Let's see. <clears throat> His shirt changed. So let's see here. I don't want to have to watch all of it extra here. Where do we go? Where's a stupid ad at? All right, let's see. get a number. On, I didn't get a number. I didn't get a number on your income. So <laughs> once in a while, 0.6% yield. Adding I'm sorry that you're living there and that sucks. And that's obviously yeah, the landlord's the responsibility. Issues. Yeah. I have to deal with law stuff. So the thing is that I've manifested a life at this point where I am taken care of so much by other people. You've manifested a life? I am taken care of so much by other people. Do you Wow, <clears throat> this is this is rough. Um, subconsciously, okay. Subconsciously, my inner aspects and inner children and teenagers, whatever, have felt safest when others are supporting us rather than when we are supporting ourselves, because then it means we're not alone. Okay. Yeah. Do you see a therapist? <laughs> I see many therapists, coaches. Uh, no shit. Many therapists. I'm also a coach to a certain extent. <laughs> this lady's a coach. This is what kills me about social media. This is why I'm going to do a show eventually called Why Skits and Social Media Ran Ruled or Ruined the World. People like this who don't have their life together, who are a basket case, potentially a coke addict, maybe, maybe, allegedly, are giving instructions to other people on how to do shit that they themselves have not done or been through. It would be like a red pill guy that's married, you know? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's get back in. So, yeah, what's annoying is I am hyper aware. You're a coach? And I'm A still... spiritual coach? <laughs> um, I'm a spiritual healer. And holistic health coach. Whoa, this is a throwback to another episode we've had. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we had another spiritual healer on here. Mm -hmm. Another life coach. <laughs> Shit. Of sorts. Of sorts. Oh, I love the condensation. Con condescending? Not condensation. He's condescending to her. I don't know if she's picking up on it, but. How do we feel comfortable <clears throat> by any means giving anyone advice on life if you're if you are just failing in the united states yeah i am not a financial coach yeah but how can you be coaching people on their life if you yourself could be getting them into a damaging position because you yourself are in a damaging position mm. in finances yes mm -hmm. which is what this show is about but what she doesn't hear any of this dude like if you were convincing people that 
if you think what you do is okay and you convince people to get in that same headspace, you're leading people down a dangerous path to the point where they might not be able to pay rent. They might not be able to retire. They might not be able to put food on their table and they think it's okay. Hmm. I get that slippery slope. I get that. From my point of view, I don't coach anybody in finance. No, no, no. Because I'm very open. About she don't get this shit at all, man. She don't understand what he's saying. About Not finances. I'm talking issues. about headspace in general. Yeah, like you you shouldn't be telling anybody how to do anything unless it's like, a, you know, involves a, well. Yeah. So what I coach people on is how to find joy and healing in the present moment. And but what if they? What if what you're teaching is through that present moment, <laughs> they get in the same headspace as you, which has led you to thinking to just accepting this as reality. Mm -hmm. This should not be considered okay. Being be a honest, child is not. Okay. Everyone else is doing really great finances wise besides me, but yeah, what I do in my time away from. She just said that to the finance guy, by the way. The guy that does this show for a living, dissecting people's bad finances to show what not to do. She just told him that. Um, participating in capitalism has been some intense inner work. You're in the and United I just States. Teach that. Yeah, you're in the United States. One, capitalism also is a bad term. It's not a good term. It's 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 not a it's a shaming language. It's a we have a free market. If you work, you can make it. If not, you're fucked. Free market. Period. Period. Is it unfair to those at the top with money? Potentially, yes. Better start working soon. It's, I mean, this is, again, this isn't politics. I don't say whether I agree or disagree with our current system. It's irresponsible for me on the side of the table to, like, just be like, oh, I wish this, I wish that, I wish this. Yeah. It's like, I'm sorry, you do. I want you to survive, so let me help you navigate this system. Mm -hmm. And saying, oh, today I'm participating in capitalism. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm not. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, that's how it's been. This is the laugh of the sociopath that wants you to always be happy in her presence. Oh, yes, yeah, hilarious. We're talking about the downfall of me and how I could potentially be leading other people astray. <laughs> but that's, and it doesn't feel great. And you know where that's you right. know where that's led us. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't even look at myself. Like yeah. I'm only brave enough to look at it right now because you are somebody who's passionate enough about. That's all bullshit. This is more manipulation by this woman. Caleb has millions of subscribers or however many thousands or hundreds of thousands of subscribers, millions and millions of views. She's getting exposure right now and she knows that negative or bad, just like uh, Anna Nicole Smith said, any press is good press. Except, of course, when she was blue and they were flying her back and forth to the Bahamas and the Miami. But that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. Yeah. other people with this so i really do freaking appreciate that oh, i appreciate yeah. you being here you're putting situation on display for many people to yeah. learn from i hope what that i can help transfer? somebody found transfer oh that's one of the commercials i did okay so 2100 came in for the through that dope cool you didn't know that i didn't know the total no pangea i haven't holdings? budgeted yet <laughs> pangea holdings um, I think that's like a shaving commercial because I'm a hairy girl. Congratulations. Thank you. And <laughs> Venmo, what usually comes in through Venmo? Like why? It used to be sugar daddy money. Oh. What is it now? <laughs> See, she's trying to use her sultry voice. Now she's trying to turn him on a little bit because that's her next mode of manipulation. Soon it'll be crying. How much is it? 307 total across all the Venmo in the past month. Or within this I'm not going to lie. I have no clue. Okay. Ready, set, ink. That is one of my agencies that connects me to brands for the UGC social media commercials. Sick. You made $91. All right. <laughs> so go the Venmo, can we count that as income? Or was that just like we split dinner and like someone paid for it? I you, think it was partially that. Oh. Yeah, probably partially that. Maybe a little bit of sugar daddy. Uh, you know. Okay, That's then right. I'm not going to count that as income. So it's income total. 300 sounds about right. It's just, I'm just. Total that came in. You live in Los Angeles, correct? Oh my God, yeah. $2,891. That's a good month for me. Not in Los Angeles. Well, that's a month for anyone else living out in LA. <laughs> I know, I know. So with the molding issue, I'm legally not required to pay rent right now. 
It's not molding issue, it's mold issue. She says she has a mold issue at her apartment, which sounds like bullshit to get out of paying rent because that's something people that bullshit people to get out of paying rent do. I know, that's the only reason you're surviving. Exactly. Exactly. And I have EBT. I have... You... Men, I know some of you veterans have been homeless and this lady gets government assistance. She gets EBT. Food stamps. I was getting $281 a month and I just had that knocked down about $100 since I made more money this month. It's interesting because yeah. like, but you're choosing not to work though. Right. You are choosing not to do anything else. Oh. The thing is, like, up until- I am all for support for people who can't work. If you get disability, you get laid off, especially yeah. because you're paying into that system, yeah. you know, through different taxes and everything. Uh, when you're working, absolutely support people that just can't make ends meet because they're working their ass off. Mm -hmm. But you're choosing not to work. You're kind of acting like an entitled person mm -hmm. who's like, this is what I want to do. So mm -hmm. everyone come in and support me because I can't make ends meet doing what I want to do instead of growing up being an, an adult and actually taking care of your own life. Mm. Can I tell, tell you a story? Oh, the soft voice is coming out. Here comes the story, boys. <clears throat> Tears. Tears, I would say, in T minus 50 seconds. Please. Story time. So can I sit crisscross applesauce on the floor? <laughs> if you had a fireplace, I would move us there right now with some marshmallows because this is a little heavy. <laughs> I love marshmallows. It's a little heavy. Do you okay, have some more? Go for it. <sighs> I'm also sorry. My dog farted. Good dogs. It's always good to have a dog. I did not smell. But you didn't? Oh, thank you for doubting. Hi, buds. Are you stress farting? It's okay. Caleb's actually really nice. He's manipulation it's just being real passionate that's true so um yes you can tell i'm very hyper aware of the situation so it comes off as entitlement except for your income but yeah <laughs> yeah except all the important stuff <laughs> yes i ignore that um until today but unbelievable guys i've known so many of these girls this none of this shit will stick with her she's just, none of this means anything all of her talk and all is just long story short too late. Um, I was doing the classic LA. I transferred from a career of. Oh, I thought you meant heroin and fentanyl. <laughs> tutoring little kids, which was. Ah, nice. Little kids. This lady. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You're tutoring little kids. Fulfilling job I've ever had. Well, it's LA kids, so. Making a lot of money, luckily, doing that, like $100 a session. But. Then for some reason, you know, more on camera stuff was calling me and I got into the acting, the music videos, the dancing, all of that LA. Ron. And um, two summers ago, I was grossly harassed. Oh, shit. Here it comes, boys. Here it comes. Get those popcorn buckets ready, guys. Get your uh, tissue ready for the tears, of course. <laughs> at a music video. Uh oh. So, and oh no. Oh, thank you. Thank you for noticing that I've been a victim after I told you about it and made it, you know, that you had to say something in front of all these people that are watching. Thanks for noticing. I'm not the only person who's been through that. Right. But let's focus on me for a moment here. And the way that my stress response was. Me, my, I. I'm not the only one that's been through it, but my particular, me. Works is I go into freeze mode. Ah, good. The old woman defense. Do nothing and see what happens. This never ends well, ladies. This whole do nothing and see what happens. Mm -hmm. So everybody's nervous system acts up in a different way. And I wish, eh, I don't want to wish life were any different, but. Um, Crack. Some people get stressed and. Yes. They'll fight. They'll go and make money. Yeah. Right. Some people will do what's necessary when faced with impending doom. And they won't be able to stop so much so that they have a family and the mom or family's a good thing. Typically, whatever. Some partner is like partner. This woman is screwed. Hey, like, why don't we go on a family vacation? And they're like, no, I have to work, you know, so I'm grateful. I'm not that, but you're broke. 
You have no money in your bank account and you do nothing but live off of the work of other people. Not unlike a lot of single mothers out there today that you're just using a man to have someone to pay the bills. Just putting it out there. I go into freeze mode. Mm -hmm. So after this traumatic event that just was a layer on to other sexual assaults, other oh, sexual... Oh, she's had a lot of different sexual assaults, guys. Harassment, all these other disgusting acts. Right. You've got a terrible San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge tattoo on your bicep. Seems like a strange choice. Against me and a lot of other women in this world. Uh-oh. My bodily response is to freeze. Manipulation. Boys, watch this. Now she's the victim. No longer. Now, granted, we're, we're discussing her finances right now, guys. But we're on to her past traumas in the quest for discussing finances so i me 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 had past suicidal thought oh boy i almost got rid of myself guys feel bad for me don't push too hard you might push me over the edge poor me feel bad for me let me tell you what i almost did one time because i was so sad i had the sads really bad me me that came up and the way they manifested for me was to doom scroll doom scroll shit is there like a doomer woke idiot uh handbook with all the terminology in it i need to get a copy of this handbook to not participate in life to not connect with other people to barely connect with my dog oh no not the dog and so here i was with a case of peanut butter and my little dog living a very privileged life in the sense some would say you still are where i could reach out and someone would take care of me someone would <laughs> yeah. throw me a rope and save me i sugar daddy would have coaches give me free coaching i would have mm, free for me me, me, me. Spiritual healers give me a session, etc. Spiritual healers. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I tell you what, man. The bullshit market in L.A. sounds fantastic. I need to go over there and sell some snake oil to these idiots. And that got comfortable, right? Yeah. So I was sitting with the um, knowledge of this as I'm doing my inner work. I'm on my healing journey. Inner work, healing journey, let the bullshit flow. I'm sharing it online. Sharing it online, yes. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. Put your trauma on as many people as possible. Let's see if we can make this whole world one big sad fest. I'm sad too. Mm. I'm sharing it on social media for attention. Mm. And the most frustrating part. Yeah, I can tell you're super unhappy about it because you're smiling while discussing it. I can tell this is a pain point, not an, a, you know, attention grab. Was that I can see my life situation, mm. but there was something within me that wasn't willing to change it. Be was it a dick? Because going back to the fear of success, here I was so knowledgeable and I even cried about Knowledgeable? This um, yesterday, but the change that we're all inherently... This bitch is like, I was crying yesterday, but I'm, gonna, I'm a life coach. I'm, I'm helping people, damn it. Scared of is what has been holding me back hmm. from making the changes to so these what do you think, numbers. What do you think? What do you think the consequence of your success is going to be? What's your fear? What's your phobia behind it? Okay. <sighs> first of all, the harassment and especially assault and just anything like that that's terrible. I am so sorry that happens and happened happens in the world, but I'm so sorry that happened. And it's totally reasonable to have a response like that. That's nothing to do with you. It wasn't your fault. You don't have to apologize for shit that's not your fault, guys. Stand up for yourself. Stop letting these people manipulate you emotionally. You do not have to apologize for something you did not do, even if the person that did it happens to also have a penis. And not want to like go back to that job and stuff. Um where I'm a little scared is like our fear of success. I don't want the fear of success within itself. Look how hard it is for him to say that shit with a straight face. His eyes are rolling. He's like, the fear of this shit is stupid. To be an excuse and reason to not get our together and live an adult life. Right yeah. now, <laughs> fear of going through a situation like you've been in before in terms of harassment and stuff like that, that is a totally justified one. Is that your fear? Success leads to that? 
Or what's your fear of success? What what's what's the phobia behind it? To answer this in two parts. Oh, good two parts. One of them better be true. One, I know that the fear is probably manifesting the same as excitement would. Oh, manifesting. Yeah, damn, that'll fix everything. But, so it's also okay. like, okay, I could change this to, hey, let's just get excited. Let's Yes, you could do something. Get excited about success, but it's easier said than done, right? No, so, no, no, no. It's just, you just do it. And once you start doing it, it gets easier every day that you do it. But every day that you don't do it, it's super hard to do it because you're not doing it. When it comes to what success I think lands like in my body. Lands like, guys. <laughs> lands like the level of manipulation and emotional control tactics what success lands like in my body do you mean how what you do and with stress is that what you're trying to say it's magnetism magnetism great so you attract metals of a certain you know what magnetism and every f time i'm magnetic Ooh, boys here come the tears i get violated <laughs> Oh, so you were attracting metals of a certain alloy and you were violated because of magnetism. Okay. So, okay. So just, just the, the history, just the history of your life. Anytime. Okay. <laughs> right. So you're tearing up and crying and this is a show about your finances and we've been through your sexual abuse history. So about that monthly income. So here I am knowing this, but I'm ready. I'm seriously ready to. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Were any of you guys married to a woman like this? There's just like, she's you this time. I'm turning over a new leaf. It's all going to be different this time. And you turn your back and she's like whoa, 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 out in the, uh, you know, Chad and Tyrone's car. This time's different, honey. I'm turning over a new leaf. Make the change. I have the pitch decks for these. Are you still talking about your fly by night, not jobs? Clients whose yeah. social medias, I want to change oh up. I want I have that to all work so bad. Yeah, and it will. It will. No. But the number one thing, it and won't. this is where I might get Jalulu. <clears throat> it might work in 20 years if you work hard at it. Power Guys, I've been on YouTube for 10 years, over 10 years. For nine years of that, probably maybe for eight years of that, I had a thousand subscribers, not even a thousand. It took me eight years to get to a thousand. So it wasn't until lately that people have been watching my YouTube channel. Now it's like two or three Carnegie Halls every 48 hours. Not a lot of people, but I'm grateful to have them. But still, this, she thinks she's just going to turn it on tomorrow. Now she is sexy. So within six months, she could have 10 million subscribers. But what would she say to those people? <laughs> huh? Delulu? <laughs> Delusional? Okay. So you went from tears to laughing hysterically within 30 seconds. Yeah, she doesn't seem like she has a drug problem at all, guys. Will you hold my hand for a second? I need... What? Connection. Uh, I need connection. Dude, this is... Wow. These numbers are making me ang ang gang. Thank you so much. Ang gang. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's angry numbers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. Right. I get delusional, you could say. Right. You you could say that. When I don't participate in reality because I have this knowledge. No. That's Coke. You have Coke uh, knowledge. The Coke guy always knows everything. The Coke girl, they always, they got it all figured out. The whole thing, and they got it. Ah, it's fine. It's not a habit. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Yeah. You got Coke knowledge. And knowing, if you will. Of? Of my calling. Of my web show. My calling. My web show. My calling. Wow. Changing yeah. the world by me. Changing the world. Fucking... Her last name isn't Hitler, is it? Me giving all these stories about my healing journey in more mm. depth, but not too much, and just trying to inspire your healing journey and go in depth, but not too much. I mean, not more than we've talked about here with your 
terrible finances, sexual abuse, you know, cases and harassments and, huh? What are you not going to tell them? Buy other people to go on their own healing journey so they can be their most authentic self. Right. Your healing journey seems like it's done wonders for you. I mean, you definitely seem authentic and you absolutely seem healed. And live their most aligned life. So this distracts me where every day I'm working towards that, but it's not as lucrative. As you were saying, you had yeah. to right. stack yes. up before you really focus on this beautiful show that serves. Oh, the beautiful show, Pander. I love it when somebody panders to me. They act like they're my friend, but they're not really my friend. They just pander. This beautiful, wonderful show of yours. So glad to be here, Caleb. So many people. So I have the same goal. Oh, yeah. You got goals, all right. I want to help as many people as possible. Right. <laughs> yeah. To change their lives. Oh. So, like you're doing. I, I was mistaken. I am so supportive of it, so supportive of the desire, everything like that. Right. Uh, just to just bring my devil's advocate and just more like the world just screaming at me. It. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I so, live in too much light. Not too much. Well, I started the show as a hobby and just enjoying the topic and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I think I had the one in a million chance where just I just got lucky. I got lucky. The show took off. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I know thousands of YouTubers start every single day. Mm -hmm. and the vast majority never make it. And I was just so blessed enough to have the support. Thank you. If you want to make it on YouTube, just keep uploading. Uh, just don't stop. Just keep uploading. Rowan Atwood gave that advice to Casey Neistat a long time ago when Casey Neistat had like 100,000 subscribers and now he's got whatever many, but you just keep uploading. You just don't quit. People are going to talk shit in the comments and you're going to have haters and it's going to, some videos are going to suck and you're going to be stupid sometimes and you just keep doing it. You'll get there. Of everyone out there and the show has taken off and I've been able to build employees and, you know, rent an office and all this stuff and it's super exciting. Yeah. What happens in the statistical... And again, I want this to be successful. I don't want you to take this as me being against it being successful. I'm a contrarian too. But what do you do? <laughs> Shut up. If in the statistical likelihood it's not successful and right now we have negative money in our checking account and we're not paying on our credit cards and we don't have enough save in retirement to survive and we're going to die on the Walmart floor. What, what do we do? <laughs> yes, you are. You know, this is, he's trying to tell her and she's like, this is hilarious. <laughs> what, what do we do in that scenario though? Like how long do you push for this? Here's the thing. We make a f plan, which I yeah I've been avoiding, right? Because the suicidal thoughts are oh, oh shit, dude. This level of manipulation is. Whew. Here we go back to the oh, feel bad for me though. Don't try to hold me too accountable because remember, I'll kill myself. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Remember, she's saying that right now to him. Don't be too hard. Remember, remember, I could uh, you know, I'll be your fault. You know, like. No, we're in survival mode. Ah, oh, yes. Make sure, you know, if that happens, 988, call the number. That's right. Somebody put the, the number in there. Y'all know what it is, 988 Lifeline or something. Very important. Um, thank you, Logic. Did you just say thank you, Logic? Yes, uh, just always making sure we're taking care of ourselves. Absolutely. I want you to survive at the same time, and a lot of that comes down to finances. So yeah. well, that's where these numbers are f***ed up because. Right. Yes. I, I didn't give you too much of a breakdown on some other like um, expenses. Coke. But a lot of that are like supplements that I. Ah, supplements, huh? I hear you. Think are going to like save me. Mm, everybody thinks that. Save um, you? Yeah. Like, you know, magnesium. Yeah. That's what it is. Liposomal glutathione. Oh. And all this shit that actually, if you made a routine, Amber. What the fuck happened to women? Like, seriously, and not even just modern women, like even modern men aren't exactly what they used to be, but they're at least cognitive and somewhat mentally aware of their surroundings and what's going on in the world around them. This is a complete level of disconnection that is it's legendary. If you woke up a little earlier and you're objectively you healthier than me. I don't, I don't know what to say on it, dude. I appreciate that. It's the Coke. It's not a workout regimen. Allegedly, of course. Oh. So I'm 
this is why I believe in divine timing. Divine timing? What chapter of the book is that from? Everything is a divine appointment. Mm. The timing... Sounds very official, ladies. All of your big words coming together, the way y'all string them in a big salad like that. I'm ready for my divine appointment. Of me being invited on your show could not have been better because the inner work is caught up. Right. And now we're ready for the external reality to reflect the internal. So I will literally do anything you say. No, you won't. It <laughs> All right, we're going to let that go, boys. Don't put it in the chat. Depends if Mac approves. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't depend. Oh, okay. Well, God. so what is it? If, if Mac the dog farts, is that an approval? Or like, what did that indicate earlier? No, hey, we have a psychic connection and our nervous systems are co-regulated. So, I mean, where is the guys with those white jackets? Anything. Oh, feel, okay. Feel, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Let her well, have it. In reality, let's talk about Navy Federal. <laughs> no. Um, that one's negative $6, I think, right now. No, we're talking about the checking account. Or we're talking about the credit card, not the checking account. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, first, let's just start. Credit card people are people who know how to manage credit cards, can manage credit cards, take advantage of credit cards. This credit card is taking advantage of you. You are not a credit card person by any means whatsoever. No. Never hold one again. Close these accounts immediately. Okay. Noted. I will do that. Yes. Close these accounts immediately and then let's <laughs> pay them off because they're f you. <laughs> they, I like, okay, thank you for this audit because I looked at how much I was charged for maybe it was. Nope. <clears throat> no, she didn't. The Bank of America credit card. But this year alone was $500. It's not charged. even just that. It's <laughs> but Sorry, I'm laughing. The $500 was probably the credit card charge. I guarantee you her interest was more than that. Yes, I'm anxious. Coplaff. Okay, I can accept. <laughs> okay. $502 is, was the previous balance. But guess what? New balance is $509. Why? One, we're past due $20 because we didn't make a payment. We didn't make a payment. We didn't make a payment. Oh, no. And we're over the credit limit of $9.94. We're having interest charge of $7.42. The usual minimum monthly payment is $20. Cool, that's awesome. But you didn't pay it. That's why so little. You, yes, it's so little. Why did you not pay it? Why did you not pay it? Yeah. Okay. This is clearly a dissociation issue. Yes. I <clears throat> dissociated from these accounts that I'm not even keeping a schedule of when anything needs to get paid, and I'm pretending like just put it on I'm auto pay. Okay. Dissociate. Di associate yourself with <laughs> auto pay. Right, use AI. Use AI. Problem solved with AI. I know it's crazy. I know. Look, guys, it's, it's crazy. Yes. <laughs> what? No, I've been needing someone to look at me like this. Right. Why? Why does no one ever tell you reality? Are you surrounded with yes men? Yes. Because you're pretty or people just nice and not telling you anything? Yes, you look great. You look fantastic. Congratulations. Your life's a dumpster fire. But because of that, are people <laughs> just die. like, are people just like not willing to tell you the truth or what? I mean, you tell me, or do you even know? I are you mean, telling me no one's ever told you before that? Hey, guess what? Pay a credit card. Minimum monthly balance. Yeah. What's really beautiful in my life is that I have a mixture of what you just said. I have. Like, for example, my mindset and healing coach who will text me random, like, you know, you need like a schedule and you need like to set an, a monthly goal of how much money to make. And I'm like, oh, didn't text her back. And then there are people. Why? Why? Why did you not text her back? Don't just move on. <sighs> okay. Why did you not text her back? She was bringing reality, even though she's coming from whatever, uh, well, crystals or something. But just, <laughs> just she <laughs> she was telling you, like, yo, girl, money exists, and you need it to survive in this world. We didn't text her back because... Fear. Fear of... Boy, they're strong and independent, aren't they, guys? <clears throat> Fully capable of protecting America and doing all these things and running shit. Success. She was afraid of success is why she didn't pay the credit card bill. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, I need you to. It's gonna. Uh, you need to talk to your therapist about that one. Therapist, one that has studied the science behind mental health. Right, not your crystal lady. No, my coach is great. Yeah, fuck what you said, guy that has knowledge that's here to help. My coach is great. Yeah. Cat's great. Fantastic. Cat is the name of your coach. Not Dr. Cat or nothing. But you're right. Text her back. So I need you to talk <laughs> to your therapist. Just this one time. You're right. Address the fear of success with my yes, EMDR therapist. And then therapist. figure it out. But also don't use it as a crutch. Don't just be like, okay, fear of success, fear of success. So I'm never going to do this. Yeah. Okay, figure it out. Figure yeah. out different coping mechanisms around it. Uh, work with your therapist to get past that. Obviously, I cannot do that. I'm not a mental health person. But what I will not accept is we sit down in five years and then I hear the same thing. Yeah. You need to work on that. I really appreciate that because with all the other trauma I've been through, I've mm -hmm. actually. Oh, with all the other trauma I've been through. Guys, this lady is a classic. <clears throat> no offense to her. She is a classic manipulator. This shit is, well, you can't even make it up. Anyways, I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of Caleb Hammer's channel if you want to check it out. Obviously, I've had enough of this lady. This is some bullshit. I'm gone with John. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, boys and girls. Thank you for coming by here today. It's good to see everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas soon and all that stuff. We'll see you next time. Peace.